Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about the new Natasha Denona Bronze Eyeshadow Palette. I am so excited to show you the swatches of this palette, give you my thoughts on it, show you this demo. As you can probably tell already, I really, really love it. Uh, I was also going to be talking about the uh, Bronze Face Palette, but um, I ordered these products off of Sephora. The Face Palette arrived broken along with my heart. When I opened up the box for the face palette, I started to see like a lot of like random kind of powder on the outside, which is usually a telltale sign that the palette is broken on the inside. And I thought, oh no, 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 please, no, no, no. And I opened it up and I'll insert a shot here because I wanted to show you guys what it ended up looking like. So I flipped open the palette and the shade in the bottom right hand corner like completely demolished. So unfortunately, I will not be talking about the face palette today. I thought, oh, well, maybe I can talk about the rest of the other products. It's so messy. It's gotten actually underneath the cover. And I was up until that point debating, you know, did I want to do a separate video for each? Did I want to like squeeze it all into one video? And I was kind of leaning towards the idea of doing two separate videos anyway. Uh, so it that kind of that made up my mind for me. So hopefully I'll be getting a replacement for that one and I will be doing a video on that when I get it, probably next week sometime. So anyway, let's power forward with the eyeshadow palette. Um, this is the latest Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. This is a 15 pan palette. It is one of her $65 15 pan palettes. So it's a little bit smaller than her original 15 pan palettes like the Sunset, the Lila, the Gold, uh, the Biba. Um, all of those are a little bit larger. This is the same size as the Sunrise and the Love palette. And we've got this beautiful, beautiful array of just gorgeous mattes and shimmers and duochromes in here. So let's go ahead and just take a look at the swatches. Let's get that out of the way. I'll also have some timestamps uh, down below in my description box for some comparison swatches that I did to like four other palettes of hers and for this demo. So definitely check down below in the description box if you're only interested in like one aspect of this video. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these swatches. So I swatched this palette from left to right top to bottom. So again, we have 15 shades here, and I'm sorry, my swatches run onto my palm. I never seem to make enough room on my arm. No matter how far back I start, it just never seems to be enough room. So anyway, I apologize for that, but let's go ahead and start with the leftmost swatch. That one is True Copper, which is a metallic. Then we have Suntan, which is a creamy matte. Sundown, which is a creamy matte. Deep Dive, which is a cream to powder. Rhodium, which is a duochrome. <laughs> magma. Ever since uh, Austin Powers, I, it's like I can't say that word without saying it like magma. Um, so magma is a creamy matte. High degree is a metallic. Alloy is a duochrome. Ridge is a creamy matte. True Bronze is a chroma crystal. Gloaming is a duochrome. Palladium is a metallic. Bliss is a duochrome. Silk is a metallic and Beach is a creamy matte. So there are five matte shades, four duochromes, four metallics, one chroma crystal, and one cream to powder. Does that equal 15? I hope so. So I have not gotten a chance to put all of these shadows onto my eyes, but I did play around with all of them in terms of like finger swatches. And I did play around with all of them like with my brushes and stuff, just to see if there are any kind of like, I don't know, duds in the palette. From what I can tell, all of these shadows are really beautiful, really like Natasha Denona. The creamy mattes are really pigmented. The metallic shades are really, really creamy. You know, they feel like cream when you touch them with your fingers. The um, duochromes are really lovely. I find the duochromes in this particular palette, while they do have that color shift, it's very subtle. It's a very soft duochrome, which is fine by me. There is still that shift, but they're not quite as like as big of a shift as I feel like I've been seeing a lot of duochromes these days. It's a very nice, subtle, kind of like soft duochrome shift, which I really enjoy. Bliss, which is the shade down here, that is probably the duochrome with like the biggest shift in them. But the other three, which is gloaming, alloy, and rhodium, those have just like a soft kind of like metallic kind of duochrome to them. Beautiful beautiful by all means, but they don't have that like really dramatic um, color shift, but they perform really beautifully. I think they blend really, really nicely from what I could tell so far. And then the one cream to powder shade, which is this deep, deep dive shade, I use that as liner and I was kind of curious like how it was gonna perform. I found her cream to powder formulas to be 
a little bit uh, more of a wash than like her creamy matte shades. Her creamy matte shades are really, really pigmented. They're very intense. I find sometimes that they're so intense they take a while to blend out. And her cream to powder shades to be like, like I said, like a little bit more of a wash. But this one is actually really, really pigmented. It really has like an intense deepness to this particular shade. So I was happy to see that because I did use it as liner and I did want something that was really, really deep. So that was really nice to see. And all the other shades, like I said, are really, gorgeous. I find this palette to kind of be like gold, the gold palette for gold and this palette for bronze. I don't think when you look at this palette, you're going to say like, oh, wow, look at all of these different, you know, eye looks that I can do because we don't have like a rainbow assortment of shades, but you have like so many of these metallics that are kind of close, but have like different like undertones, maybe have like slightly different finishes. Some have like that duochrome in there. And I love it. It's kind of like a study in bronze, like the way the gold palette was. There were so many different golds in there, but you had a really yellow one, kind of like a white gold in there, some that had like a brown undertone in them. So I love the gold palette. I think it's such a beautiful, fun, like deep dive into gold. And I feel the same way about this. I feel like it's this nice kind of like deep dive, like artist's study in bronze. And I feel like that's what Natasha Denona is giving us with this one. It's just gorgeous. I think it's great for this like kind of late summer look. You can see I did something pretty warm, which is what I see when I look at this palette. We have these two shades up here, which are definitely, I think, on the cooler side, which I think could cool down any look if you just want to use this purple, or if you did want to pair it with like one of the more orangey colors, I think it could look really, really beautiful and really fun. But in general, I think this is a very warm, kind of like deep summer palette, and the timing is absolutely perfect. It is like so hot here in Vegas. I feel like I keep saying that. And I feel like this eyeshadow look just kind of like matches the temperatures. You know, it's just this like very, very like fiery hot um, kind of look. So I love this palette. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And if you're a fan of Natasha Denona uh, formulas, I don't think it's going to disappoint. I think it is very much like her um, other palettes. The creaminess of the metallics reminds me of the Metropolis, just really, really creamy. The Metropolis palette is also one that I find just to be really kind of like warm and deep. And I get like a similar feeling from this palette. Um, so I did do some comparison swatches to some other palettes. You know, I just kind of did a cursory look just to see if there were any shades in there that looked similar, that could be similar, just to, you know, have a little bit of fun and show you guys some comparisons. So um, the first palette that I did a comparison with is the Love Palette. And the Love Palette has a completely different color story, but there is a shade in there that is very similar. So I compared the Deep Dive shade, which is the one on the left, to the Commitment shade here in the Love Palette. And you can see that the Commitment shade is, uh, it's less intense. It's a little bit more of like a cooler purple where the Deep Dive shade is a little bit warmer. It has like kind of like a brown undertone in there. Next up, I compared some of the shades to some of the shades in the Sunrise palette. So first I compared this Creamy Matte Beach shade in the Bronze palette to the Morning shade in the Sunrise palette. And the Morning shade is a little bit more yellow. It has like a little bit more of like a cantaloupe tone to it versus the beach shade, which is a little bit more peachy. And then next I swatched the palladium shade and the alloy shade from the uh, bronze palette. So the palladium and the alloy. And then to the right of that, I have the day spring shade from the sunrise palette. And you can see that, mm, you know, they're kind of similar, but not dupes. Next, I compare it to the metropolis palette. And first I have the true bronze swatched from the bronze palette. That's this one right here. And I have that swatch next to Helena and then Rust. And again, some similarities, but really not dupes. And then I swatched the True Copper from the Bronze palette. And I have that swatch next to Penny from the Metropolis palette and Blaze, this one right here. So Penny and Blaze. And then last but not least, I did a couple of comparisons to the Sunset palette. So again, I have the True Bronze shade from the Bronze palette. And of course I had to swatch that next to the Bronze Age shade here in the Sunset palette. And then I swatched the Silk shade from the Bronze palette and compared that to the Obeyed shade in the Sunset palette. So those are all the comparisons uh, I felt were kind of like even worth comparing. Um, and you can see that the bronze palette, uh, there's definitely some similarities. I feel like 
the most similar shades that I found were in the Sunset palette. I thought that those two comparisons I made were really, really close. Other than that, in the three newer palettes, the Love, the Sunrise, and the Metropolis, there were some similarities, but nothing too close. So I don't think I have much else to add. I really love this palette. Um, I can't wait to continue using it and like creating, you know, new and different looks. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into the demo of this eye look. I'm gonna start by going into this matte beach shade and I've got my Sonia G Worker One Brush. And I'm going to start to apply this to my outer corner. I think this shade comes off a little bit more deeply on my lid than it appears in the pan. I don't know if my eyes are playing tricks on me. I don't know if it's, you know, oxidizing or one of those shades that kind of warms up once I apply it. But I was a little bit surprised when I was swatching these shades how much uh, like warmer and brighter this shade was than I thought it appeared in the pan here. And then when I virtually have like nothing left on the brush, I'm going to kind of drag it along the top edge of the shadow here, just to kind of bring it up. But I want to bring it up faintly because again, it's a little bit deeper than I had expected. And I just want to really sheer it out. Next, I'm going to take my Sonia G Builder 3 brush and I'm going to go into Gloaming, which is this duochrome shade down here. And I'm going to apply this to the inner portion of my lid. Next, I've got my Sonia G Worker 2 brush. I'm gonna go into, now that I have gloaming on, I really wanna use high degree. I think that'll be a nice pairing, but I do wanna incorporate like another shade in there. So I'm gonna go into True Copper. Let's see how that works. And I'm going to kind of press that I don't know if I like that actually. Mm, I think that shade's a little bit too orangey for what I was going for. Let me see, I'm gonna go straight into the high degree shade actually and see if I can place it on top. Ooh, that actually looks really cool layered on top of the true copper. So I'm just placing the high degree on top of like the true copper that I just kind of put on the center of my eye. And then I'm also bringing it out to the outer edge of my eye as well. Place some of the true copper down just under the center of my lid. And then I'm gonna go into high degree again and add that on top and then bring it out. Let me take my original Worker One brush. I'm gonna go into this ridge color, which is a little bit more mustardy than the original beach that I went into. And I'm just going to kind of dip the tips of the bristles in, knock off a lot of the excess. I wanna go in pretty lightly and just use this shade to kind of blend out the top edge here. And I'm gonna take my clean uh, Sonia G Detail Pro Brush and run that across the top edge here. And then I've got my Isum T05 brush and I'm gonna go into Deep Dive and use this as liner. All right, we've got like a deep, deep summer look going here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my look, put on some lipstick basically, and I'll be right back. All right, here is my final look. I really overdrew my lower lip today. <laughs> I feel like I kept messing up the lower uh, like lip line and I just kept drawing it lower and lower and now it's really overdrawn. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.